Welcome to day two in Valencia. Our plan for today is just to go to the beach and relax and then maybe later on find some paella since Valencia, Valencian paella, is the most famous of all paellas. Now you know if you didn't know that. clearing and all the people so we're <laughs> we're gonna sit here and relax for a while that's the only thing on the schedule today is to relax at the beach so we're excited we took very few videos because we were literally just laying the whole time and it's just very sandy and like sand is just everywhere you just cannot get it off of yourself and we didn't want to get it on the camera either so now we're going to find some chocolate to eat churros and then some dinner later on. Apparently all the local churro and chocolate places around us are closed because it's too hot. And so they don't want to give so us they don't hot serve drink. hot chocolate. Yeah. So we opted for strawberries and apples. apples. And we're gonna dip the strawberries in the whipped cream from yesterday. <laughs> lot of strawberries. We can save some for tomorrow for breakfast. We might eat them all right now. <laughs> we might. I don't know why I could. We're very good. How is uh, an apple and whipped cream? <laughs> Actually, pretty good. Can't forget about the chocolate waffle. This is our last chocolate waffle. We actually got these at a supermarket, and they're very low quality, but they're actually they're pretty good, and they've lasted us like a week now. So we're gonna have to restock soon. <laughs> Headed to a paella bar for dinner. Um. We have been looking forward to having more paella, and apparently this is the authentic paella. Authentic Valencian paella. It's one of the best in uh, Valencia, according to Google, and many searches. A lot of them are closed on Mondays for some reason, and so this is one of the only ones that was open. And our Airbnb host texted us this morning and said, um, the tapas are really cheap here. You can go there for dinner or whatever. So we think that she didn't like that we were using her kitchen to cook. But she told us we could. She was just making it very clear. She was like, you know, it's very cheap to go eat out. You don't have to cook in our, in our house. So. Uh, she'll be happy. Also, let us know in the comments if we look tanner. We feel like after spending the day at the beach, we look really tan. Yeah. She's a little red in some places, but. But it's not, it doesn't hurt, and it'll just be even more tan tomorrow. <laughs> Today, we're just 
chilling on the beach, using the metro, and eating out for dinner. Who are we? That was very good. Very good. Just a little quick comparison with the first one. We think, we both agree that the first one is a little bit better. The rice quality is a little bit better, but both of I them just, were fantastic. I just liked the sauce better on the first one. Yeah. Anyway, we think that making it a weekly tradition might be the way to go. <laughs> we're only gonna be here like because another week. We like it so much. But like Wednesday nights, Wednesday night paez sounds so good. We haven't done anything physical all day, but both of us are very hungry. So I think because we've been walking so many miles a day, our bodies are trying to tell us to slow down and take a rest. <laughs> In order to get the max amount out of our rest day, we're going to a dessert shop. So as we were walking around, we randomly found this little restaurant that has really good looking vegan dessert things. We asked the waitress what the best dessert was to get and she told us something and we don't know what it is, but we said we'll take it. So we're going to have a surprise for dessert. Supposedly it's the best though, so it'll be good. <laughs> So our waitress just came out with another chocolate brownie dessert. Ben actually ordered us two desserts. When, when he asked about what the best dessert he was, she said two different things and he said yes. <laughs> <laughs> we want that, so she brought us out two desserts. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Better than the first one? It's like dark chocolate. Just what she was wanting. <laughs> mm, perfect. I can't really believe that we got two desserts. <laughs> I had no idea what I was saying yes to, but I guess that's a good lesson. We are now walking back to our Airbnb and then we're gonna take showers because we still have a ton of sand in all parts of our body from earlier today. <laughs> This neighborhood we're in is called Rusafa, and you could spend your whole life probably going through and going to each different restaurant and still have not been to all the restaurants. It's crazy. There's one in every single little shop. <laughs> and they all are really cute and look like they have good food. Yeah, it's a little dangerous. good day. I feel like all we really did was walk around and lay around and eat, but that seems like a pretty good day to me. Sounds like a good day to me. 